Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a simple Adams parachute and I'm going to give you a couple little tricks to make it easier tying parachute flies. I'm just going to tie an atom just because. The hook that I have in the vise is a 100 BL and the BL stands for barbless and this is a size 14. And you can get this from Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. I'm going to use 16 Ot Vivas thread. 8 Ot will do. I'm going to start the thread behind the eye and we're going to bring that thread back halfway. The Adams doesn't really represent anything, it's kind of one of them all around the dry flies. Bring that thread back halfway and we're going to bring it forward half of that. It's an excellent dry fly. It's kind of a generic. It'll work on a lot of different hatches. Now this is where we're going to put our wing. For our wing post I have Antron yarn and you can see it's in a couple pieces there. I took the Antron yarn and I divided it off somewhere between 25 and 25 percent and one-third of the actual yarn. We're gonna just use this little bit and now you want it you want your piece to be pretty long a couple inches even now we can take our yarn and we're gonna make our wing post but we're going to fold this over I'm gonna bring that down right on top Oop, let me pull that back up there we go and we can secure this and then I'm going to wrap towards the rear I get it secured pretty good and I'm going to trim this off a little bit of an angle there and help you give a little taper on that fly we're just gonna leave that wing post the way it is for now I'm gonna take that thread back and we're gonna stop just before the flat ends and coincidentally that's where the barb would have been if it wasn't a barbless hook and now another question that I get asked a lot of times is when you're using two different color hackles for your tail how do you how do you accomplish that well here we have for the atoms we need a grizzly and a brown and use of course the feathers that have long stiff barbels Take the feathers and pull them off to, to a 90 degree and you want to put them together. Now I'm going to grab both colors at once. I'm going to take them in my left hand because that's the hand I hold the feather to the hook with. I'm just going to grab a, a chunk of them. I'm going to pull them off together and there we have the two colors already uh, combined. If I take them in this hand you can see and we want this tail to be now with a, with a parachute atoms if the if the tail is the length of the hook shank that's not bad I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter than that though it's gonna give it a soft pinch and pull it down give it a couple wraps and then make sure that it's on top. You can take your thread and put a wrap underneath the tail and that's going to hold them up and also divide them a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess. Now you don't see a wire rib on too many dry flies but here I'm going to take extra fine copper wire. This little bit of wire that's going to actually be in there is not going to detract from how it floats at all. So we're going to tie in this little copper wire as a rib. I can, I'm can. i even going to leave that tag a little bit long there. And you could go ahead and secure that. And bring my thread back towards I'm the going rear. To take Adam's Gray Super Fine Dubbing and on this fly you already have a pretty fat uh, shank there so you don't want it to be you don't want to build up too much so I'm just going to take a very fine amount I and mean, 
this is like you can barely see it and this is how much you should be dumbing in at a time this is like very very skinny noodle here but it's always easier to add more dubbing than it is to take it off especially with something like a super fine dubbing because it gets so tight I'm gonna go ahead and dub the body go towards the rear first and then we're gonna go forward And you can see I'm, I don't have enough, so I'm going to put just a little bit pinch more on there. there. Like I said, you could always add more. We're going to bring that dubbing right up to the wing shank, or to the wing post. I'm going to lift that wing post up, and I'm going to put some wraps in front of it. Just to kind of help hold it up there. I'm going to take my rib, like I said, extra fine wire is not going to add that much weight to it. We're going to rib this. And now I'm going to take that rib. I'm going to secure it first right at the, the wing post. going to give it a couple of wraps right there. Then I'm going to take the copper wire. I'm going to actually tie this copper wire into the wing post. And this, with this copper wire on there, it prevents your thread or your hackle from falling off when you try to wrap it like that. You see how it came off? It helps prevent it. So you just grab onto the top here. A lot more. You have more to hang on to and it helps to give you a nice firm wing post base right there. Now you could even leave this on now or you could go ahead and take that off now. I'm going to leave it on because I don't know if I'm going to go a little bit further up that wing post or not. Now on an Adams, you want a brown hackle and a grizzly hackle, and I'm going to use this brown grizzly and the grizzly. And you can see on the hackles, I gave them a little bit of a crew cut. What you do is you stand the hair, the hackles up at a 90 degree, and you cut them. And you see all those little barbels. Let me put my hand in back. But you see those little barbels on there. That's going to give the thread something to hold on to. And we want to make these, you know, fairly long. We're going to place them together. Of course, line up those tips that you're going to tie in. And I place them together just as if they would fall together naturally. Both convex sides are facing the same direction. So you got a convex on top of a concave. So I'm going to tie these in in front of the wing post and now you can see there's still parts of the hackle that haven't that don't have any long barbels on them yet and we're going to bring that right up to the wing post and then we're going to wrap that up we still have that wire in there and that wire is adding material to help stiffen that wing post so you don't have a hard time wrapping your wrapping your hackle and these are really long hackles so I'm going to bring them up you see I added a little bit you can see a little bit of white space there and then I'm going to wrap back down and I'm going to bring that all the way down Whoop. a little bit of a there we go now before I go and wrap the the hackle I'm gonna put just that little bit pinch more of dubbing on there Let's take another small pinch of dubbing
And we're going to wrap and we're going to wrap around that wing post so that we don't see any so we close that in there really nice and we're going to leave our thread on the wing post now when we go to wrap our hackles I'm gonna wrap them both at the same time take them and bring them down and that'll kind of give them a little bit of a bend now we're gonna hold the wire and the wing post at the same time and then we're gonna wrap And we're coming down the hackle or down the wing post and when we get it down to the base we're going to secure the feathers the hackles to the wing posts we'll give it maybe one or two and then go one or two underneath it give it about two of them underneath Now I'm going to remove the uh, excess hackle. Just going to take my poke and snip, bring that really close, and cut that one off. Take that poke and snip and remove the second hackle. Now we can take that wire before we tie it off, it'll hold still. Well, we can take that wire and we can break this off. You can helicopter it off. But I'm going to take scissors and I'm going to cut that tight. Take that down and put it on there. Just grab a little pinch of it in your scissors. And then run that down close and cut off just the wire. Now I'm going to give this a whip finish. But I'm not going to use my whip finisher. I'd rather use my fingers for this cross over and you're going to whip finish it to the wing post you can control your thread a lot easier if you do it with your fingers and you want to make sure that you know you don't want to pinch any of the hackles back up once twice maybe three times I'm going to go ahead and Hold that. I'm going to take my head cement. I'm going to put some head cement on my thread and it's usually the left side of the thread as you're looking at it that you would put the head cement on. Now when you pull the thread to lock it close you see that thread that head cement is going right in there. See it moving? That was off the left side, and then we're going to pull that right in. Nice and close. Go ahead and trim that. And if you really want to, you can take a black marker and put some bars on there like as if you were using hackle tips. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take my, my scissors now and just trim that off. I'm just going to leave a little button on there. A little bit higher than the hackle. And that is a rather simple way to tie a parachute wing post. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. Please visit my sponsors. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.